Kia ora. The Combat Box team have just released their latest alpha for the Apollo Dynamic campaign. This time it's set on the Normandy map and for the release of this latest alpha, the guys at Combat Box asked if I could put together a tutorial series explaining the mechanics of how Apollo works. I'm assuming a bunch of you will already have played on the previous alphas for Apollo, but for the newbies, Apollo is a dynamic multiplayer campaign for IL-2 Sturmovik Battle of Normandy and Battle of Bodenplatt. And just to be clear, you don't have to own both of those DLCs to participate, it just limits which aircraft you have available. Apollo is a PvP campaign, so AI fighters will spawn to defend objectives when there are only small numbers of players online, but mostly you'll be flying against human opponents. It's got tons of just amazingly cool features, like a custom-built AI command chatbot for SRS, which you can talk to in flight, and a player-operated radar system, which can be used to direct the battle at a map-wide level. Over the course of a campaign, which typically lasts several weeks, each side tries to push the front line forward, and the front moves based on a simulation of how the actions of players affect the ground forces of each team. Every ground target destroyed, every paratrooper dropped, and every aircraft shot down is fed into the simulation, which then controls everything from how the front line is drawn, to the level of AA defences at objectives, to the aircraft which are available at different airfields. It's not essential to know how all this works to participate in Apollo. The system is designed so all you really need to do is spawn an aircraft, take off, drop bombs, get into dogfights and do your best to come back alive. You don't need to set up an account or anything like that. You just join the server and jump in. But the Combat Box team was getting a lot of questions about exactly how the Apollo systems work and knowing how these systems work can help you be a lot more effective in the campaign. So I've put together this series of short videos which will be covering each aspect of the system in depth. We'll talk about the supply system, how objectives are captured, the radar and AI communication systems. But just to give a caveat, Apollo is still under development, so I'm sometimes going to be deliberately vague about exact numbers and stats sometimes, just because a lot of that stuff is subject to change. Anyway, in our next video we'll be jumping straight in by answering a simple question. What is supply?